Good evening, I am Anastasia Lavrina. Now shortly about the main news for this hour. Azerbaijan army liberated from Armenian occupation nine villages of Jabrail, Zengilan and Guvadli districts. President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev told about this on his official Twitter account. Earthquake in Turkey. Tremors were recorded on the coast near the city of Izmir. 1,022 new COVID-19 cases have been recorded in Azerbaijan. President Ilham Aliyev expressed condolences to Recep Tayyip Erdogan with regard to earthquake occurred in Turkey. The head of the state emphasized that deeply saddened by the news of the loss of life and destruction caused by the massive earthquake in Izmir. I wish you hailing to the wounded and injured. I inform you that we are ready to provide any assistance for the speedy elimination of the consequences of the earthquake, mentioned the president. First Vice President Mehriban Aliyeva also expressed condolences to the families and friends of the victims. With a sense of sadness and regret, I received the news of human casualties and destruction as a result of a strong earthquake in the Aegean region of Turkey. I wish the wounded a speedy recovery. The pain of the Turkish people is our pain. Our brotherhood is forever, mentioned Mehriban Aliva. At least 12 people died and more than 500 were injured during the natural disaster in Turkey, according to the preliminary information from local authorities. An earthquake of magnitude 6.6 .6 occurred off the west coast of Turkey. This was reported by the Agency for Emergency Situation and Natural Disasters. The hearse lay at the depths of 16.5 kilometers. The epicenter was located in the area of the city of Seferli Hisar, 32 kilometers away from the Turkish city of Izmir. The earthquake was felt in various provinces in the west of the country, in Istanbul as well. Videos also showed flowed streets in the city caused by a tsunami following the earthquake. This is the scene of the wreckage after the tsunami that's just hit Vathi. Azerbaijani army liberated from Armenian occupation nine villages of Jabrail, Zangilan and Gubadli districts. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, told about this on his official Twitter account. Long live Azerbaijani army, Karabakh is Azerbaijan, mentioned the president. Armenia is a country that has flagrantly violated international law, committed war crimes against Azerbaijani civilians, will be punished for its actions. Prosecutor General's Office of Azerbaijan opened dozens of criminal cases on killings of civilians. As a result of investigative measures, territories from which rockets were fired at civilian objects of Azerbaijan were established. This was stated at a briefing by Prosecutor General Kamran Aliyev. He stated that the cities of Ganja and Barda, which were subjected to missile attacks, are far from the front line and there are no military objects. The Prosecutor General said that during the shelling of the Azerbaijan population by the Armenian armed forces, SCAT missiles were used five times. SCAD missiles were fired at the city of Ganja on October 11 and 17, as well as at Kurdamir and Kabala. S-300 missile system as well as Smerch and Tochka U missiles were also used against Azerbaijan. These units mainly use cluster missiles. Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International also confirmed it. Armenia grossly violates the requirements of international conventions. Speakers of the briefing recalled that the enemy destroys everything on his path. According to the Minister of Culture, 706 historical and cultural monuments were destroyed in the occupied territories. 
Appeals will be sent to the European Court of Human Rights and other authorities. All necessary steps will be taken. The Armenian leadership is responsible for participation in the crimes. Azerbaijan will continue to take measures of individual responsibility against the perpetrators. At the same time, steps will be taken to assess this on international platforms. A specific criminal case is open for each fact in Azerbaijan. Hikmad Hajib recalled once again, Armenia illegally exploited mineral deposits in the occupied territories. The use of occupied lands for tourism purposes should also be considered as a separate crime. The illegal actions of the Armenian side do not end there. Armenia's use of mercenaries has been confirmed and six of them have been put on the international wanted persons list. Azerbaijan claims about the unwillingness of Armenian side to get back to the negotiation table. There is a lot of evidence demonstrating the violation of the norms of international humanitarian law, mentioned assistant to the first vice president of Azerbaijan, Elchin Amirbekov, in his interview to CBC. The day before, together with the representative of the diplomatic corps, he visited Barda, the city that was subjected to the rocket shelling from smerge system by the Armenian armed forces. It's important for Azerbaijan that the representatives of the diplomatic corps, international organizations and foreign mass media services visit the cities, residents of which are systematically subjected to the artillery shellings by the armed forces of Armenia, and see with their own eyes the crimes conducted by the enemy, mentioned assistant to the first vice president of Azerbaijan, Elchin Amirbekov, during his visit to Barda. On October 28, approximately at 1 a.m., Armenian armed forces shelled Barda from reactive system of consequence fire, Smerch. More than 20 people were murdered, about 70 were wounded. By the initiative of Azerbaijani side, an invitation was sent to the well-known large non-governmental organizations, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, to visit the place and to register numerous violations of the international law in general, along with the principles of the International Humanitarian Law, Geneva Convention of 1949, which forbid attacks on civilian population during the armed conflicts and consider such acts as war crimes. Elchin Amirbekov reminded that this time Armenian army conducted a war crime against civilian population of Barda city almost a day before the meeting of foreign ministers of Azerbaijan and Armenia in Geneva. A number of civilian settlements in Azerbaijan have come under fire since the morning by the Armenian Armed Forces. Adequate measures have been taken by Azerbaijani Army. The units of National Army have destroyed the enemy's forces and combat equipment by precise strikes, reports Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan. The positions of next to smerge multiple launch rocket system belonging to the Armenian Armed Forces, which fired at peaceful population and civilian infrastructure in the city of Barda and Tartar, were determined by Azerbaijani units. Units. Two smerge multiple launch rocket systems were destroyed by Foreign ministers of Azerbaijan and Armenia started in Geneva. Negotiations between Jehun Bayramov and Zohrab Nazakanyan are taking place with the participation of the OCE Minsk Group co-chairs and close to the press. Earlier, the meeting of the Minsk Group with the foreign ministers of the two countries was scheduled for October 29, but then postponed to October 30. The purpose of the meeting to start the implementation of all steps which are necessary to achieve a peaceful settlement of the conflict in accordance with the basic principles adopted by the leaders of Azerbaijan and Armenia. 
Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch have verified the use of banned cluster bombs by Armenia in an attack on the Azerbaijani city of Barda. This is a strong signal that the situation is changing and the international community finally is ready to open the eyes on the terrorist acts of Armenian government against the civilians in Azerbaijan, said the head of Azerbaijani community of Nagorno-Karabakh region of Azerbaijan, member of parliament Tural Genjaliyev in an interview to CBC. Finally, we are seeing uh, the reactions and, of course, uh, these kind of reactions uh, uh, are very important uh, in, in order to bring uh, Armenian leadership, its political military leadership, into the responsibility before the international courts. And I am sure that uh, whenever this conflict is over, when uh, the Republic of Azerbaijan will liberate its international recognized borders, uh, the Republic of Azerbaijan will demand from the international community to, uh, to bring uh, inter Armenian leadership before the international courts because what they are doing, it's just uh, against international law. The full interview with the head of the Azerbaijani community of the Nagorno-Karabakh region of Azerbaijan, Member of Parliament, Tural Ganjaliyev, you can watch immediately after our news program. This is not the first time that Armenia is trying to undermine friendly relations between Israel and Azerbaijan. This country takes attempts to recognize the events of 1915 as genocide in the Knesset demands not to sell weapons to Baku, calls for cooperation with Yerevan. And all of this remains unanswered. So this time Armenian nationalists held an action in Tel Aviv with groundless claims and again without any results. There is no harm in trying, thought Armenians and decided. We must remind Israel of our long suffering. This time Armenian nationalists took to the streets of Tel Aviv. They demanded not to sell weapons to Azerbaijan, a country which has established a reliable strategic partnership with Israel, a country where thousands of Jews live in peace and security. Tens of thousands of Jews from Azerbaijan always support the republic that has become their homeland. No one responded to the action of the Armenians in Tel Aviv, neither the government nor the people of Israel. They will remember how Jews were expelled from Armenia at the end of the last century. The brutal massacre of Jews during the Second World War must not be forgotten. This was done by the Legion under the command of the Armenian general Garegin Nezde. The March 1918 genocide of Jews in the Azerbaijani city of Guba will remain forever in history. People were killed by Dashnaks. As for modern Armenia, today this republic has the highest level of anti-Semitism in the Eurasian area. New anti-record. 1,022 new cases of coronavirus infection have been recorded in Azerbaijan, reports the operational headquarters under Azerbaijan Cabinet of Ministers. Ten have died after testing positive for COVID-19. The overall confirmed cases in Azerbaijan have surprised 54,000 with about 33,000 recoveries. More than 1,341,000 tests have been conducted in Azerbaijan in past period. This was the main news for this hour. Thank you for being with us. More news you can find on our YouTube channel. See you in the next edition.